Hello, thank you for clicking on this video. I am going to be talking a little bit over a short clip that explains a little bit more about Alfred Webiner and his continental drift theory. So I'm gonna play a little bit of the video and pause at some points. Let's start with the history. In the early 1900s, a scientist named Alfred Wegener noticed that the coastlines of several continents looked like they fit together, similar to puzzle pieces. He believed that around 200 million years ago, all of the continents were joined together in one large supercontinent that he called Pangaea, which is Greek for all the Earth. Over the course of millions of years, Pangaea broke apart into the continents we know today, a process he called continental drift. Although his theories explained quite a bit about the origins of the Earth, scientists at the time weren't exactly impressed and initially dismissed his ideas. Fast forward to today, and Wegener's concepts are the basis of the modern-day plate tectonics theory. So what exactly is the plate tectonics theory? So just to sum up, he came up with this idea in 1912, and many people didn't believe him. They did not believe in Pangaea. They did not believe that all the continents were once formed together. They didn't believe him at all. So let's find out a little bit more about this and then maybe why people began believing him. Well, it states that the Earth's outer mechanical layer, the lithosphere, is divided into large continent-sized plates that are constantly moving. How fast are they moving? Pretty slowly, actually. Around one to two inches per year. So as you saw, the Earth underneath our feet is constantly moving. Even though we can't feel it because it's moving so slowly, it is moving. And how slowly? Like they just said, it's only moving one to two inches per year. And remember, an inch is about the top of your thumb. So that's such a little amount that the Earth's um, lithosphere or the ground beneath our feet is moving. So a lot of scientists didn't believe him at first because you can't really, it's very hard to measure that. Simply moving. How fast are they moving? Pretty slowly, actually around one to two inches per year, which is why it was so hard for scientists a hundred years ago to wrap their heads around the idea. So what changed their minds? Well, so that's also why it took over 200 million years for the continents to drift to where they are today. Because as the lithosphere moves, right, the um, continents began, began separating. But since it's moving at such a slow rate, it took millions and millions of years for the continents to shift. Tectonic plates are not only responsible for the continent shifting, they're also responsible for earthquakes and volcanoes. So they talked a little they talk a little bit about that here and about how um, as the tectonic plates are shifting, they can cause earthquakes, they can cause volcanoes, they can cause mountains to form. So tectonic plates are responsible for many, many things, including many natural disasters. And also they're responsible for why our continents look the way they do today. Thanks for listening. Remember to continue clicking on the slides and read each direction carefully.